where they can find that opening, where they can find that opportunity. We're actually going to see a snowball coming in onto the whiskey. He's already eaten one decay, down to 100 HP, down to zero. It's the first blood. The fact he has skewer, there's the vacuum, but we're going to see a, a snowball up top. Aloha Dance dropping very low. Magic one keeps him alive a moment longer, but now we're going to see MMY dropping down quickly. One more hit will secure the kill, and uh, then we're going to see him just control the top lane while Clinks gets a kill on the Zeus mid. So maybe pick up from him so in the end it's going to be a smoke rotation here and they're going to just jump on a single rp into yoki and that is going to be a worthwhile kill even if he pops everything here he's still going down to the tiny right click and yeah they'll commit any ultimate they need to just to get any one kill on a core hero they almost got it out too clint's pinged it right before they came out of the smoke because the iron shell smoked up hero was hitting the creep oh but they do find a snowball on a silar and down he's gonna go nice toss play but actually could have risked mmy's life in the end they commit the death ward the tp will not be successful and down bottom clinks goes in and kills off yao he kills off yao he's going 1v3 this is such insane damage coming in from the clinks he's got 1500 health with his ultimate alive and he is just plowing through everybody and then why going down next century ward screw that i'm just gonna be able to dps you down and maybe barely gets out alive 200 hp remaining it's not gonna cut it when the empire side oh, rp is gonna come down two on bottom though taking massive damage the mech will help them out but the snowball doesn't come out in time it will be clinks to look to clean it up xiao Wei dropping and falling to the soul burn but it's still a two for one and that is looking at the top tier three and the roche has just fallen for empire where are the tps coming in they have only one what? tp scroll on the undying they're gonna lose what? a tier three tower outright for nothing they do get the roche but... Rats, but they didn't know i guess clinks is nearby but pop and uh, the tier three fortified very early on straight though at the same time yeah. Oh, nice silence on the maybe! Maybe goes down, no reverse polarity, has buyback, is gonna have to use it, and the cast will bounce heavily between two. Amazing usage of the ice shards, zoning them out. Now the death ward's gonna do that trick, and it's gonna be all on the Magnus here, but silent. He has the orchid in three seconds, and there is no BKB on maybe. This is gonna be the time. If he precasts the next orchid, maybe can do nothing here. They've already lost the tier three tower against maybe here so we'll see right now they have no vision and it's going to be just a skewer play on to resolution bringing him down very quickly the snowball not going to come in time so they pop the aegis yao pops his ghost after which turns out to save his life and try to set up the vacuum he gets bounced twice paralyzing cast times too but finally the vacuum into the wall yao will go down to the last right click of resolution and as soon as this wall goes down they have nothing but yoki walks in past the wall all by himself and can't survive so they're gonna pop the mech they're gonna head for the hills and Silent will have to disengage as well, it looks like, as the Dark Sarah buys back. Yeah. Anyway. If they get the snowball, yeah, has no buyback. They have to relocate him out now. He's gonna pop the ghost scepter. They're gonna force staff him away. They don't ice charge it. Oh, the ice shards actually making it so they can't lock down the Dark Seer. He will now be hit by the Viper Strike, and he's gonna be nuked down. It's a dieback for the Dark Seer. And a silence on the maybe! The Magnus will not get the RP, and that is buyback. gonna break the base wide open. The Death Ward bringing an MMY, bringing down Xiao 8, the Tombstone Zombie, trying to finish it off, but one whack of the tree will at least clean that one up. Still, there is no buyback on anybody but the Tiny. Zeus is healing up on the Fountain, while their Tier 3 is in shambles here. Such a strong way. Two good drops in a row. A really questionable game three drop from LG Act. No mm -hmm. idea what they were thinking going for such a risky volatile drop. But here we go. It looks like mm -hmm. Empire gonna take game three. One last fight to seal the deal. Style on the front lines. He just can't attack. The Viper pick has been the hero. RP comes in from the side and trying to turn the time here. The wall is there, but I don't think it's gonna be an upgrade. Yeah, I mean, we see Silent doing some good damage here. Nice skewer under resolution, but he's got plenty of HP left to work with, and he has an AC now, so they just burn them all down. We're going to see the Ghost Scepter come out for her. Yeah, that's going to just delay his inevitable death as the two cores just right-click him down, and Silent is left all alone. Pops the final level of grow. Silent on